Hello and welcome to Bottle Ship with our friends the Jifflings. If you enjoy the show, please leave a review and share the podcast with your friends. And stay tuned to the end of the show when we'll recommend a brand new children's podcast. And now it's time for today's episode, The Sombrero. In your world, things are important. But what about the things that aren't important anymore? Well, sometimes those things end up here in the magical land of Dilstonia, where the Jifflings live on their little Jiffling ship. They find these things that we throw away and fish them out of their sea so they can recycle them and put them to good use once again. And here they are now, ready to work. Eccentric young pumpkin. Ooh, I'm ever so excited. The Hedge, who was a very lazy Jiffling. Like, hey man, is it time for a bed yet? Miss Katie, who loves fixing things and dressy up. Sometimes I like both together. Albert, the ship's gardener. Hey, who's been in a me cabbage patch lake? And Friedeline, a very sensible Jiffling who looks after everybody on the ship. Yeah, that is correct. Oh. Today on the ship, the Jifflings have had a very busy day. First, they pruned the rose bushes in Albert's garden. Then they had a fun game of make-believe. And now they have just finished their lovely Jiffling supper of roasted sweet, which was cooked perfectly by Friedelein and then eaten very perfectly by Hedge. Like yum, man. After such a packed day, it must be time for bed. So all the Jifflings jimbled through into their bedroom. But as they did, Albert seemed to be lagging behind. Hey. What's wrong, Albert? Are you so full of dinner that your feet are just too heavy to walk? Well, not really, Miss Kitty. I I just thought, like, well, maybe instead of going to sleep just yet, we could uh, plant some lovely potatoes in my garden. But the sleepy time is not for potatoes, Herr Albert. Sleepy time is for the lovely snoozes. Ooh, but it could be fun, Friedelein. I like potatoes. And I like digging. Yeah, but then you will get in a terrible mess and dibby-dabby your muddy paws all over everything. Ooh, well, I suppose I am a very messy little Jiffling. Maybe I can just dream about potatoes instead. So everyone continued into their Jiffling bedroom. But now, Albert was lagging even further behind. In fact, he was closer to the Jiffling kitchen. Well, maybe I should stay up just a little bit longer and, um, talk to Geoffrey. Mice are nocturnal, you know. Well, yes, Albert, that is true. Geoffrey, your pet mouse, does like to scamper about at night, but that's not what a Jiffling does. Why don't you want to go to bed, Albert? Is your duvet not floofy enough? But not that, Miss Katie. My duvet is softer than a badger's tail. Is it because you just need, like, one more snack, man? Because we could, like, have a snack together. Oh, greedy Hedge. Well, no, Hedge. I'm as full up as a hippopotamus with two tummies. Then what is it, Albert? Why don't you want to go to bed? Well, it's just that... You see, when I go to sleep, I... I might have a dream. Ooh, I like dreams. Last night I dreamt I lived upside down and I walked everywhere on my head feet. Huh. Well, we all have dreams, Herr Albert. The dreaming is perfectly normal. But what if it's a bad dream? What if... I have a nightmare. Oh, poor Albert. So that's why he didn't want to go to bed. Well, everyone was going to have to use their last few minutes of wakey uppy time for a special purpose now, because that sound meant an object which had been lost or thrown away on Earth had got caught in their net. Now they all had to heave it in together. Mm. <sighs> 
The object landed onto deck with an Ujima flip. It was very colourful and very wide, with a big hole in the middle. Friedenine guessed at what it could be first. Well, I think this is the big bright parasol that we hoist up the mast to shade us when it gets too sunny. But then Miss Katie stepped forward, for she knew exactly what the object was. She hopped up onto the story seat and began her bedtime tale. This is the sombrero, and my old ski instructor, Andy Icicle, told me all about it. Once upon a time, in a hot, sunny country called Mexico, there was a very special man known as the Sandman, and he had the very important job of helping everybody get to sleep. Each night, he would fly over all the houses and sprinkle his magic sand onto the people below. And as he did, they would all fall into a lovely, restful sleep. Cooey, sleepy people. It's time for your siesta. Lovely, snoozy, dreamy night nights for all. Ooh. But one little girl called Valentina was so worried about going to sleep that every night she wore her dad's big, colourful sombrero hat to bed. The sombrero had a very wide brim, so it stopped any of the magic sand falling into her eyes and sending her to sleep. No. Night after night, little Valentina stayed awake wearing her sombrero. And soon she became so tired during the day that she would drift off at terrible moments. Like even when she was eating breakfast and her little pigtails would flop down right in her cereal. Now the Sandman was worried and he wondered why Valentina didn't want to go to sleep. Oh, it's not because of me, is it? Asked the Sandman. Oh, you're not afraid of me, are you? I'm quite a wonderful Sandman, you know. Ha 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 ha. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not afraid of you, Sandman. It's just, uh, what if I have a scary dream? So the Sandman scratched his head and he thought, Ooh, we all have scary dreams sometimes. But I've seen 30, 1200 million dreams. And I've never once seen a dream hurt somebody. Ooh, you see, a dream is just in your imagination. So if you have a scary dream, really, you're just scaring yourself. Well, that's silly. I'm certainly not afraid of myself, said Valentina. I know just what to do if you have a bad dream. Simply sit up and smile, a great big smile. And soon, your imagination will be filled with lots of happy, fun thoughts instead. (laughs) Well, Valentina thought that was a very good idea. And so, she put away her sombrero and snuggled up into bed. And before long, she was drifting off into a lovely dream of sunshine and smiles. And she very much looked forward to enjoying her breakfast without falling asleep in it. Because now, Valentina realised that dreams were only make-believe and they couldn't hurt you after all. Ooh, and like now, the sombrero is here, man. Yeah, so what are we going to do with it? Well, Friedeline, I'm sure there must be lots of things you could make. Why don't we use it as a fun, colourful steering wheel for our boat to make steering even more fun? But then Albert stepped forward, for he had a very clever idea. Well, why don't we turn the sombrero upside down and use it as a special Jiflin's bed that we can all sleep in together when one of us might just be feeling a little worried. Yeah! Yay! Yeah! Oh, Albert, that is quite the most wonderful idea. And so, all the Jifflings packed their lovely soft blankets into the middle of the upturned sombrero, and then they all snuggled down together in a little circle. And before long, 
with little smiles on their faces. It was time for bed. And I am going to have a lovely dream about potatoes. Good night. Good night, young pumpkin. Good night. Good night, Albert. I'll see you in the morning, like. Good night, Friedeline. And it is a good night. Yeah. Good night, Miss Katie. Night, night. Good night, Hedge. Hedge? Oh, I think the Hedge is asleep already. And goodbye to you too, wherever you are. Maybe next time you see a thing that you might throw away, you'll stop and see if you can use it again, just like our friends the Jifflings. And maybe the thing you use again will have a story to tell too. Goodbye. Thank you for listening to Bottleship. If you're looking for a new podcast, we'd like to recommend Mission Imagination from Puffin Books. Each episode will whoosh you away to a different magical world created by fantastic Puffin authors, including Hamza Arshad, Greg James and Chris Smith, and Robin Stevens. Hosted by the hilarious Baba Tunde Aleshe, alongside two young Puffineers, there's a new adventure every week of the summer holidays. From magical forests to Biscuitville, to lands where you can even swim in a sea of chocolate. New episodes drop every Wednesday, and Mission Imagination is available on Apple, Spotify, and the Puffin Books YouTube channel. Get your free Mission Imagination activity kit at puffin.co.uk forward slash podcast. Thank you again for listening to Bottleship. If you'd like to send us an email, please send it to thegifflings at gmail.com. Take care, and we'll see you soon with more exciting adventures from our friends the Jifflings.